people DM me all the time asking me to review products. And one of the reviews that has been requested the most is a valve style menstrual cup. And I've always been hesitant, but I finally caved. I bought one, it came the day my period started, and now I'm gonna tell you how it went. And it's a fun one. Hi and welcome to Period Nirvana. My name is Kim Rosas and I am the educator here. And at Period Nirvana we talk all about period stuff, reusable menstrual products specifically, and uh, certainly menstrual cups and menstrual discs the most. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Before we start this amazingly juicy review, I wanna also let you know that if you're shopping for menstrual products, you can find them on period.shop, which is my reusable menstrual products store, and you can use your HSA or FSA to pay for those. So check out period.shop for all of your menstrual products needs. You can trust everything on the store because I trust it and because I picked it and curated it. I'll tell you one thing that's not going to be at period.shop. It's this uh, easy empty valve menstrual cup and I tried it finally because people have asked over and over can you use these have you used these should I try one and um, hmm I don't know <laughs> it was not for me first let's just kind of go over what this thing is and how it's supposed to work and then I'll explain how it worked for me if you are not interested and in the about and just want to hear the the stories you can skip ahead using chapters on this video review let's get a good shot of this <laughs> the concept is pretty self-explanatory. It is a valve that instead of having a stem on the cup, the valve is uh, has a stopper in it and you can unstop it to release your menstrual fluid while you're sitting over a toilet um, or even in a shower, whichever one, and restop it so that you can continue about your day without having to fully remove the menstrual cup, dump it and wash it and put it back in. And this is supposed to be a more convenient option for people who have heavy periods, especially those who are uh, working throughout the day or at school all day or just have a busy schedule and they just don't have time to take out their menstrual cup and dump it and wash it and put it back in. Um, and that does become kind of a nuisance if you are uh, in a public setting. I only decided to try this product because I found that Femily, which is the product, uh, the brand that makes this uh, cup, was registered with the FDA. Prior to that, the valve cups I had looked into so far did not seem to have any sort of FDA registration that I could find. I bought the size large. When you order one of these, because this has this valve system that works with this uh, stopper pearl, this one comes with an extra pearl. How special, um, you know, very classy and all. And you can see when you open it, I've used this cup already, but this is what it looks like in the box. And it does have this little tiny pearl that is attached in a tiny, tiny bag. Um, so they have all kinds of instructions, which I did have to read and still, not to uh, spoil it, kind of failed on the first time. It's packaged like a Barbie doll. Here's why I would never carry this cup, even though it is FDA registered. Um, it says, easy empty valve allows you to wear your cup for up to 24 hours. Does anyone hear anything wrong with that statement? I certainly do. This brand is recommending that you wear your cup for up to 24 hours, which is definitely a no-no. You should not wear your cup longer than 12 hours. So uh, in the US, the cups are tested to be safe up to 12 hours. Obviously, there is some wiggle room there. I don't think anyone's saying at 12 hours you're going to immediately get an infection. They're just saying, hey, this is where we think we should draw the line. Don't wear it longer than 12 hours. Take it out, wash it, put it back in. Uh, 24 hours is double that. So uh, if we're thinking about, you know, fudging the numbers a little bit, and I certainly have in my life, worn a menstrual cup longer than 12 hours accidentally and on purpose. Um, but 24 hours is a stretch and it's going to smell. <laughs> I'm just going to warn you ahead of time. If you try to wear a menstrual cup longer than 12 hours, things start to get a little stinky. Um, so this is the product and I'll get some good, uh, good B roll going here so you can see it up close because this is not going to do it justice. Um, and not going to really show you what's going on here. Um, as we talked about, this is emptied through the stem. So already, if you are someone who has a lower cervix, 
A valve cup is probably not going to work for you. You can't chop down the stem because the part that works uh, is really on the bottom here. You can't cut above it because it would just be a hole and your blood would just pour straight through. You can't cut below where the pearl sits inside the bubble because you need that space for the pearl to go into. The function is that the pearl sits at the very bottom where it's tight in the stem and then when you have it in your body, you reach inside, push the base, squeeze, and then this little pearl thing goes inside the bubble. And then when you are done draining yourself, you push the pearl back down and make sure it is all the way embedded. Um, one of the things I noticed when I was washing this product after trying it the first time was how very easy it was for me while washing and moving the pearl around to get any of the gunk that was stuck inside this little bleh, you know, bubble was that I very much almost lost my pearl and it was right here at the um, entrance. So just now I almost lost the pearl. I was cleaning it and I was doing the thing and I popped it up accidentally and I felt it go and it was right um, in the inside. So basically, I almost lost it. I thought, holy crap, I almost already lost my first pearl and I only get two. I prefer a menstrual cup that doesn't have devices that you need to replace. If they get lost, they don't work. I mean, once you lose your pearl, if you can't replace it, this thing does not work, simply does not work. So if you're thinking about um, using this product and you know, you're know you used to regular menstrual cups, these things, the only thing that makes them not work is if your dog chews it open um, or you slice it in half um, or you know, of course when the silicone has degraded to a point it's no longer safe, that's when it ends its, life, its lifespan. Um, but this thing has parts, moving parts. Um, and that always makes things more complicated. It makes it more complicated to clean and it makes it so that the failure rate of it not working anymore is increased. This little device here is a ticker that's gonna show you how long until I show you blood. So if you see it's almost up, make sure you skip ahead if you don't wanna see real menstrual blood. All right, so now let's go to my, my story of trying it. I received this package the, literally the day my period started. I was using period underwear and I was about to decide, hey, what am I gonna test this month? And um, you know, I've been putting things into rotation to give them a good run. So this one I received on the day of my period. I'm like, well, that's a sign. I should just go ahead and sanitize it and put that thing in. So that's what I did. Here goes nothing. And um, I read the instructions. I totally did it wrong. I feel so dumb. This thing has been leaking all day. And I actually don't know that it's because I made this mistake because there was so much blood on the outside. It really didn't feel like it was getting caught. And uh, I wasn't, it wasn't the pearl. You have to push into the section. And I had it here the whole time. So you wear it with it at the tip and you push it down and that allows things to go through. I didn't, I read the instructions and still didn't catch what I was doing wrong. So that doesn't count. <laughs> I can't, uh, I can't give any marks against the cup if it's uh, leaking like crazy when I'm the idiot who didn't stop the valve. Um, so second time around, hey, I got this. Um, I put the pearl down and my plan to test this was always to catch, you know, several hours worth of blood and remove the cup with it still working, um, valve stopped, presumably, and then try to film and uh, release the blood. Because my biggest question on these valve cups is how can it possibly drain all of your menstrual fluid when your menstrual fluid is very viscous and clotty and it's not just water. Like when you see a commercial for things that are supposed to be blood, um, you know, even when people do period underwear demonstrations, they just use like watery blood um, or fake blood. And um, that is definitely a different experience when you use these products because it's all mucus and clots and these things don't absorb or go through in this case a product 
in the same way that water does. Um, so that's what I did. I removed it and um, we have a clip. <laughs> do we have a clip? We do have a clip. <laughs> I have no one here. I'm just talking to myself. I am trying the release valve while wearing the cup, even though it is still leaking like crazy. But mechanically speaking, I just want to know what it's like and if it's possible, even if the product itself seems to be failing. So the pearl is at the tip and then I push it up into the little ball so I can feel it. Oh, oh God. Okay, something actually did happen. And then I guess, So it's like a tiny little udder that you're supposed to milk on the toilet. I've definitely gotten bloody. Um, and again, I stress that I don't have blood on my hands with a normal menstrual cup. I do with discs, not menstrual cups. Um, they seal, there's nothing around the base, and then I just remove it and dump it. So. Um, even if this product were working, it would be super messy um, to do this, to get the convenience of not having to remove it and clean it. I would be less messy if I just removed it, dumped it, and reinserted it, even in public, um, than milking myself. And then I forgot, I do need to re oh God. It's just like, <laughs> It's not fun. I just uh, squeezed it back into place, which is another messy endeavor, I feel. Um, so let's just take it out. I'm scared I'm gonna like push the pearl out. Okay, so here it is. And I'm so I put the pearl back in the base. Now it's gonna be here. So I'm going to push it. Now it's here and here's where it's going to. This is happening real slow. So this is what I mean by <laughs> this not being effective because menstrual fluid is very viscous and chances are it's going to clog. If I were to wait, this is barely full. I just put it in this morning. If I were to try to empty this and expect that I'm going to um, not have to empty it later, I would be on the toilet for 20 minutes instead of just dumping it and putting it right back in my vagina. So here I am. Oh, you can't see it because of my sleeve. This is fun. Super good use of my time. So I'm squeezing it. Oh, I pushed it up too high, I'm gonna lose the pearl. Oh God. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So I have removed about this much fluid from this. This is the most I've ever had to like look at my blood. Um, not that I don't look at it, but I usually don't have to look at it for this amount of time. I mean, this is just, so I'm squeezing up here, which seems to be going better. Okay, it finally emptied. I definitely could have removed it and put it back in and washed it in that amount of time, um, but it did empty. I'm so bloody. And then you, um, the pearl is here. You push it back into the bottom. I think I'm done with this. That was enough for me. And then just to show you the cleaning process of this, I have done some cleaning, but I haven't gone through and moved this pearl around to get everything out of it. And um, it is a process because it's still dirty in there. So it's not as simple to clean 
as a regular menstrual cup. It's complicating this process completely. So yeah, that's how that went. And I was shocked that it worked better in the draining department than I imagined, but it was a slow process. And you know, the whole like, they say woman on the go or you know, person on the go, and this is gonna save their day. I have to explain that if you know what you're doing and there's a learning curve, removing your menstrual cup and dumping it and just putting it back in, in, in the case of being in a public bathroom, you don't have to take it and wash it in the sink. You can just dump it and put it back in and sanitize it when you get home. That process for me was far more convenient than uh, the, the waiting game of waiting for this to drain or reaching inside and milking myself. Um, and that, you know, I know on paper, it sounds like this is a fantastic invention when you have a heavy period. Um, and maybe there are, and, and actually I went and searched for reviews on this and looked at different forum posts on Reddit's um, menstrual cup subreddit and just wanted to see like who's liking this thing. And there were some people who did and they found it to be convenient for them. But I hope those people weren't finding it convenient because they were wearing it for 24 hours versus 12. Um, and I, I did simulate going in and being able to boop, you know, push it in and boop, push it back. That, that wasn't so hard, but it was definitely slippery. It was definitely, um, you can't see it, so you're going by feel, but it wasn't so bad. Um, certainly not impossible. I wouldn't even call it hard. It's just, it's just not more convenient than using a regular menstrual cup to me. Um, but this was my experience and I've, I've, I'm like, I'm in it. I use menstrual cups all the time and uh, menstrual discs. I don't mind the mess. I don't mind the, the in and out. It's easy for me. Um, but I think that most people get to that point when they switch to this product. And so the idea of this being a more convenient option than a menstrual cup just does not, I can't, I can't get down with it as more convenient. Any product that's going to recommend an unsafe wear time is not a product I can recommend. Yeah, that was my that was my experience with the valve cup. I there this is not the only valve cup, and like I said, this is the only one I've seen registered at the FDA. If you uh, if there's an update or if someone knows one that I don't know, please leave a comment and let me know. If you're looking at the valve cup and thinking, okay, this actually does still sound pretty good to me, despite Kim's not so great experience with it. Um, I'm interested in the convenience of dumping my cup without removing it. There is another option you might wanna consider and it's not a guarantee, but the menstrual disc product, which is another internal device that catches your blood, um, it just sits differently in the body. Um, it sits flat, so you can also have penetrative intercourse with it in. But one of the features that um, some but not all people experience is that when they go to the bathroom to have, you know, just urinate or even a bowel movement, the combination of sitting in conjunction with uh, the pressure of urinating or defecating will tilt the disc enough that some of the content spill. And in most cases, it just goes right back. Um, for me, that's the experience. Some people might have to reach in quickly and push it up, but I don't find that any uh, less messy than reaching in and milking this valve. And then you can go about your day without actually fully removing it. Again, this is not a guarantee that a menstrual disc will auto dump for you. It's kind of a, um, a bug more than a design feature. It means that the disc is either slightly too big or slightly too small for your body. Um, but even with that being the case, it still catches everything and is still leak proof. It just dumps its contents over the toilet. And I do have a full video about auto dumping just to kind of fully flesh it out for you. And that might be worth a watch if this is a concept that you're interested in. All right, so I, that was my experience with the valve cup. I am so glad that I finally did this because I have to admit I was very curious. You know, there were some things that were actually really better than I expected, such as it actually completely emptying the contents. I didn't have any really big clots. Unfortunately, I didn't pass anything really big for uh, it to block, but um, that still could happen. But overall, I think it, somehow the, the fluid that can go through would go through and you would just find a big massive clot in there to deal with when you remove it. Leave a comment, let me know what you think, and um, let me know what you wanna see from the Period Nirvana channel. Things are really rolling and I'm getting a lot of content done, so um, you know I'm happy to 
use my test vagina for something if people really want to know how it works. And um, I have some fun things on the way that I'm excited to try as well that are already uh, in the queue. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do that. Turn on the notifications. You can also find me on the Facebook group, Period Nirvana Community, where myself and others answer menstrual cup questions or you can post your questions. I'm on Instagram at Period Nirvana and I recently joined TikTok and um, whew, that's something, but it's a lot of fun. People really wanna comment about weird stuff, but I'm here for it. I'm just here to educate and that's another platform to do so. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. So you can find me on TikTok also at Period Nirvana. And don't forget if you're shopping for menstrual products that I um, have essentially given the Kim stamp of approval by carrying, you can find those on period.shop. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Is, uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just <gasps> oh shit.